You are very welcome back to the programme. Well, the International Federation of Journalists World Congress starts today in Dublin Castle. The organisation represents about 600,000 journalists worldwide. Amongst other issues, it is very concerned with the safety of journalists who are working around the world. Well, I'm joined now by Russian journalist Nadia Ajkinkina and the Secretary General of the National Union of Somali Journalists, Omar Farouk Osman. Um, thank you both very much indeed for coming in this morning. Uh, Nadia, I apologise for my pronunciation there of your surname. Um, um, danger is, is a big topic for journalists really worldwide at the moment. Um, Osman, you're from the second most dangerous country in the world for a journalist to operate in, second only to Syria. You've been writing recently and saying that journalists in Somalia, they've actually been targeted. Explain that to me. Why is that? Uh, journalists in Somalia are being targeted because of their work, because of their reporting something that one does not want to be reported and because of the polarized situation in the country the conflict the political wranglers uh, between the politicians warlords islamic extremists that is causing journalists to be targeted and w the most serious issue is because one wants to get his message out to the public and to demonstrate that they are effective for example al-shabaab uh, extremist group then they target the journalist so it, it ups their profile to, uh, to uh, kill a journalist uh, absolutely because it demonstrates for them it demonstrates that they are still effective that they are not weakened that they are not dismantled they're not eliminated and they can show that they can wreak havoc in the society by eliminating journalists and can I ask you when they claim you know the death of a journalist the murder of a journalist does anyone go after them well, no one goes after them because there is a breakdown of the rule of law in Somalia. There is a sort of, you know, lack of, of order. There is no justice. And there are a there are bunch of criminals who are just out to, to eliminate journalists, threaten them, give them, you know, all sorts of messages, death threats, trying to target them in, in every way they can. Last year, we have lost 18 colleagues. This year, we have lost another four journalists. Last September was the single most deadliest month that we have ever witnessed it, where seven journalists were murdered, only in Mogadishu. They were all killed in the capital city. In one month, in seven one journalists month, murdered? Yes, because the reason that they were targeted is that because Somalia was transitioning from a transitional government and moving to a, a more stable, you know, a, a federal government. And the political forces that were, uh, you know, fighting for political space were targeting, you know, journalists to show that they are still effective no matter how they were defeated politically. And we accuse and we believe that it is Al-Shabaab who has been behind uh, uh, several killings of journalists in the country, but also other politicians, other political forces were involved because still we have groups armed who can uh, destabilize the society, who are carrying guns, and they carry out these right. heinous crimes with total impunity. Total impunity. And Nadia, can I, can I bring you in here? I mean, Russia is also, I mean, it's ranked as the most dangerous European country for a journalist to work in. You were saying that it's the Northern Caucasus are the most dangerous area. Why is that at the moment? Uh, yes, recently, uh, during recent years, we have uh, 16 journalists killed and media workers killed in the Northern Caucasus. Unfortunately, uh, very few cases have been properly investigated and Russian Union of Journalists, together with International Federation of Journalists, do their best to raise awareness about this problem and to explain both authorities and general public that violence against journalists is a real threat for democracy, a real threat for our future development. It's not just journalist business, it's everybody's business. And it's a problem in our country which uh, already uh, has a short history of freedom of expression uh, since 1990 censorship has been prohibited. I remember how enthusiastic we young journalists have been <laughs> defending uh, White House in 1991 and dreaming about kingdom of real democracy and freedom and we couldn't imagine a nightmare that we'll get uh, in 20 years a long list of deceased killed and, and disappeared journalists and uh, is, is this being done Nadia to you know shut them down to stop them talking or is it also as in Somalia being done to, to show the strength to, to intimidate and frighten other journalists? First of all uh, it's uh, uh, strongest and uh, the most awful kind of censorship uh, second uh, uh, it's a sign for others 
uh, not to be so proactive and not to be so strong in the investigation and digging corruption. And, and is that working? Do you think journalism is suffering in Russia because uh, of it? Some people uh, are really afraid and some people do not. And fortunately, very many young people are ready to do their best and to uh, devote uh, themselves to profession and to main values of our profession. And uh, it's very important to work and to cooperate together with risks. all society to raise awareness in the population and general public that journalism is a public good, that journalism is a value for everybody. And Omar, can I ask you, I mean, the, the International Federation, it's a meeting today, it's a three-day Congress. What realistically or practically can be achieved here in Dublin to protect the kind of journalist Nadia is speaking about and you have been speaking about? Well, the most important issue is, look, the issue of the safety of journalists, the issue of impunity, the issue of killing of journalists has become a global issue. It's no longer confined to Somalia or Russia or any other dangerous area. So the world community of journalist leaders are gathered in Dublin. And for us, it is for us to come together and address this problem, the safety crisis facing the media community in the world, and then address it and chart out a way forward. Because the situation as it is now, it's completely unacceptable that journalists are eliminated year in, year out. And the statistic is, is increasing every single year. And if I talk about now, the, the last Congress of the IFJ in the year 2010, and up to now, look, the number of journalists killed in Somalia has been increasing. Okay. So, so it, is, it is inconceivable when we have a global problem, we need a global solution. And here, this is the global platform that we should find the solution to address this problem. Okay, well, listen, thank you both very much indeed for coming in this morning and the very best of luck over the next three days now in, uh, in your work here in Dublin.